It is quarter to five on this Tuesday morning, and it is uh, a rainy start, foggy as well. You see behind us, uh, TJ, on that radar, looks like it'll be moving out at some point this morning, right? I think by mid-morning, okay. 8, 9 o'clock or so, we'll be just looking at some lingering showers across the area. But for now, yeah, it's raining pretty good out there. Let's take a look, first of all, at that radar. You can see we've got a lot of green, very colorful radar this morning. Yellows and oranges off to our south. A lot of that might not be rain. Some of it just could be some wet snowflakes high above in the clouds that a uh, little bit more reflective, so it shows up as a uh, heavy rain. But we are looking at some rain locally here in Rhode Island, light to moderate rain. Might be some pockets of heavier rain in parts of uh, South County this morning. Threat tracker for today. Uh, generally low, just uh, keep the speeds down this morning on area roads. Watch out for those hidden potholes for tonight. Uh, looking at uh, low chance of anything severe. We'll have to watch for uh, the amount of drying on the roadways tonight as uh, temperatures will be falling below freezing. So that's something that we'll be monitoring tomorrow. Actually looks like a, a pretty decent day. Temperatures right now are in the 30s, above freezing everywhere. 34 in Glendale and Smithfield, 37 in Providence, Newport 36. New Bedford's at 42. Speaking of New Bedford, you can see we've got some raindrops here on the lens, cloudy skies. Here's a look at the city of Providence looking southward. We have some uh, drops on the lens here as well. Temperature at 37 with a wind from the north northwest at about six miles an hour. Making it feel a little bit colder. Feels like it's about 32 degrees. So here's what's happening. We've got an area of low pressure off to our south. There it is right here and it's working its way on off to the north and east. Boy, if there was enough cold air around, we'd be be looking at a uh, uh, one pretty decent sized winter storm, but there's really not enough cold air. So we're just looking at a plain old rain here in southern New England. And at times it does get to be a little bit heavier. We had about an inch of rain yesterday. We'll probably end up with uh, maybe at least a half an inch uh, from this morning. Put that all together. That'd be like 15 inches of snow, but it's not. It's just plain old rain that's heading out by nine o'clock in the morning. We're looking at some lingering showers and then uh, noontime, some clouds around, and then eventually the sun starts to return for the afternoon hours. Looking at dry conditions, for this evening. Skies continuing to clear out. Here we are tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Starting off with sunshine. We'll end up with sunshine in the afternoon and staying dry into your Wednesday evening. All right, here's your forecast for this morning. Some showers around at 8 o'clock. Lingering showers. 10 o'clock, lots of clouds, about 42, staying relatively mild today. Noontime, we're at about 44 degrees, mainly cloudy skies. Then the sun begins to return during the afternoon. Temperatures in the mid 40s falling down to about 38 degrees by 6 p.m. And then for tonight, lows down to about 25. So again, we're going to have to watch out for the possibility of some icing late in the night. And then for your seven day forecast, sunshine for tomorrow, temperatures about 44, partly sunny and mild for Thursday, looking at temperatures in the upper 40s. Saturday, look at that temperature, 50s, 53 degrees on Saturday with sunshine. Sunday looks okay, 38 degrees with a blend of sunshine and clouds, obviously colder. Valentine's Day right now looks like it'll be dry, but we are watching for an offshore system that may clip us with some rain and or snow. Full forecast always at WPRI.